Alrighty, I think I'm good. Roger, I'm gonna hit on pause. did tag me with one of those rounds, I don't know what he's done damage wise, but the aircraft seems okay. So we're going to operate on the assumption we are good, and now I've just got to stay behind him, I've got to make sure I don't mismanage my speed here. Got to make sure he doesn't bait me into one of those turning fights. If he starts doing it, I'm not going to try and get greedy and pull for the shot, I'm just going to get out of it. Really can't afford to get pulled into those. He's learning to exploit them too well. It's gonna try and reverse this. So we're gonna go up and over. Not quite with the snap. But that's the general gist of what I'm gonna be trying to do here. Get in close, force him to start reversing his turns, and then go for the snaps. I think that's going to be my best weapon against him here. It's my snap shooting ability in the Mirage. Especially when he starts getting creative with this kind of shit. I'm going to go up. Hi yo yo over the top. Force him to come out of that uh, horizontal turn. Oh, he's fucked up. He has fucked up. Nah, nice. There we go. Looked the wrong Jeez. way. You did tag me in that uh, first little bit. I don't know yeah. what you hit, though. Uh, See if I can stay alive through that initial part of the fight. I'm pretty sweet. The problem is actually flying? staying alive. Uh, I'm flying the Hornet and Rossman's. Angry yeah, triangle, baby. You can jump in on whatever you want, whatever aircraft. We're gonna continue on through the vertical. Just keep going. Yeah, I'll do the Mirage first, make you face some baguettes. Right. You know, uh, keep going. I mean, and two mirages facing each other is pretty fun too. <laughs> the old downward spiral of doom. Yeah. Who's gonna fall like a leap first? There's the jink. There's the other jink. We'll get another one going. Ah! Mistimed it. Nice shot. Alright, ready? See, that's the biggest danger yeah. to me right there, is that part of the fight, after the merge.
figure out what I should do. I think, I think what Brazen's doing here is the go. Coming out in a much flatter corner. Because then you can extend out away from the F-18 and by the time he comes back in, you, you haven't burnt too much energy. You can force him onto you, like so. That's it. That's our strategy, right there. And now Tawny's basically... Uh, depends how much energy Brazen burns trying to get his nose on. Looks like he may have pulled a little too hard. Tawny's actually well set up now. That could have gone either way. The main thing I've noticed is that Tawny has learned to use the Mirage's um, ability to stop against it. He's figured out how to get me to pull such a tight turn I bleed all my energy. Nice. Nice right. Yeah, that was a nice uh, scissor. Yeah. Gotta learn dome scissors with mirages. Spawn it in. Right. Now this will be interesting. Interesting. You're, um... Your aircraft textures don't load in anymore, Rossman. Comes up as missing texture file. It's weird. It was fine for me. Is it working on yours? Yeah, when I first spawned in it was. And then uh, hmm. Brazen just had the default French one. It is weird. too hard here. But to remember against another Mirage he can come to a standstill just as quickly as I can so I've got to be really on the lookout for sudden changes in airspeed because if he hits the brakes and I'm not paying enough attention I'm going to go straight past him and by the time I realise it's, it's too late he'll be well set up for a shot. Okay he's out of burner so so am I. going to just tickle the brakes on the way down. Start pulling. We're going to go up and over to avoid the overshoot without burning too much energy. It's better to go up and over and preserve that energy rather than burn it by putting out the brakes, if possible. Oh my lord! I saw something fall off. Okay, now we start the turn game. He probably won't get his nose up enough. No, he won't. I've just got to make sure I don't stall out into the ground. Oh, I fucked up. Ah. Good fight, man. Maneuver Jeez. kill. I'll swap you so I get my skin. <laughs> Roger. Jump out, Brazen. Oh yeah, sorry. All good. Spawn in. Yeah, she's working on my end. Strange. I'm just gonna climb out about 40 degrees ish. And I've totally lost sight of him. Clearly found me. There he is. Unfortunately, I'm in a really ropey situation here. So I'm very slow and he's above me. It's about the worst possible position I could be in, so I'm gonna dive away. 
and try and build some distance. Just keep an eye on where he is. Okay, he's closing up pretty quick. I'm not going to pull the brakes yet. It's too dangerous, he's too far behind me. There we go. He's not going to get the nose on here. We'll just drop in behind him. Now he's going to go straight into his turning routine, so I've got one chance to cash the chips here. Oh, he's reversed his turn. That was a mistake. He had me bleeding there, and he's pulled away the other direction, so I've got a chance to rebuild some speed. When you forget your air brake's still out, and that's why you're going so slow. It's alright. Let's let me build some distance and lull him into a false sense of security. Get up nice and close. Watch him, he's going to probably reverse his turns shortly. As soon as he realises I'm pulling onto him, he's going to roll out. There it goes. Got a hit. Oof. He's missing a stab. Oh, I lost the piece. Oh yeah. He's trying to murder away from me now so I can build enough space to start turning again. See, this jinking doesn't work out great for him because it means he's got to keep crossing my nose, which is really risky for him, and he knows it. So if he can, at any opportunity he tries to bait me in close, then go into this turning routine. But here, with a stab missing on him, and me with plenty of energy, I don't think it's going to work in his favour. And now he's gone vertical. When he goes vertical like this... Oh, he baited him. That is oh, what gets man, him killed. That was close. Almost pulled it. Nice work. When he goes vertical like Almost that, got that makes me a happy man. Nah, that was a good not fight. against the Ross, my mate. Can't get yeah. it on Ross. <laughs> nice. Alright. Jump in, bro. Scared the shit out of me at the start. Yeah, you're lucky I couldn't fucking I'm in. hit you. <laughs> I just gotta try and be skinny for the first part of the fight. That's it. If I can survive that first part, I'm good, but I'm still trying to work out how to make sure I survive it, because it's just dumb luck at the moment. He hasn't gone vertical yet. Looks like he's starting a gentle climb, that's interesting. Plenty of distance between us. He might be using this to try and turn in on me and go for a head on. In which case, I'm just going to have to jink away and then try and figure out a new attack. Actually, he's making a really lazy turn here. Oh, no, there's the head on. Jinked it. I don't know if he actually had a lineup for a shot there. It didn't look like it. He's going in for another. Oh, no, he's turned away. See, I don't know what he's doing here. He had a really good setup for a head on. I don't like head on passes. I don't know if he realizes that, but he had a really good setup for one and then he rolled out. Maybe he doesn't like them either, who knows. Ah, that was a really bad lineup on my part. Just trying to force an overshoot. Oh my god, that was close. Okay. Now he's got me slow, so he's gonna try and run. Build some distance. Roll in, roll in, give it some rudder. 
deprive him of a wing. Don't know if he's nice here. Nice shot, dude. Thanks. That's right. Ashley used to work for Dasso, maker of the Mirage. Damn, dude. That's uh, that's a pretty good job to have. Nice. Yeah, just a sec. I'm in. I've really taken to this thing. I am... Um, I've always thought the Mirage is a nice looking plane, but I was never really like into it until I actually tried the the 2000 in DCS. Sorry, this thing is beautiful, there. absolutely right. beautiful. Oh right, you're getting the F18 anyway. Yeah, we're good, man. The French make some mighty fine aircraft. I gotta keep my eyes on. In my on case, him. I'm gonna sit out here in the red smoke and wait for the fight. He's gonna try and get his nose up here. Yeah, true. Okay, here he goes. He's pulling, he's pulling, he's pulling. See, this is the problem. If I let him above me like this, I'm in trouble. And I'm having trouble seeing him, so I'll try and get him where the sun's reflecting off his wings. So I can actually see a grey speck instead of just blue. I say right before losing sight of him. I know he's behind me. Saw a flash of something there. There he is. Oh, he got a hit. Ah, nice. I've got to figure out how to stop him from getting a buggy like that. A week ago he couldn't beat me, and now I'm really having trouble. He's, uh, he's figured me out, unfortunately. You see the Rafale facility? Yeah. Nice. Roger. Uh, jump in, mate. In a red slot, slot I, um, one. Alright, hidden flight. I'm really glad that they stuck with the, the whole Delta plan form, because there's really not many of them left. And they're just such unique aircraft. And you can really see it in DCS, like, a lot of these guys don't understand how a Delta Winged aircraft handles. And so, as far as they're concerned, the Mirage is some kind of black magic. You know, the, its ability to stop, basically, on a dime like it can. And the way it can still turn at such low speed. You know, they, they just make the association that Delta equals good for, for high speed and uh, not good for anything else, when really that's not kind of how it works. You get a lot of lift off that thing. You get a lot of drag too, but it's useful at times. Supposedly, in the uh, not too distant future, probably a couple of years down the line, we will be getting the Mirage 3, which will be really nice. Which 
be interesting flying that against some of the other uh, aircraft of the same period. One of my other main sort of squeezes in DCS is the MiG-21. So, I like things with triangular wings, I guess. There's something about the way they handle. In a lot of ways, because uh, I um, took quite a while to get into the Mirage in this, I still don't know how most of the aircraft systems work. Um, primarily, I've done this kind of BFM dogfighting with it, rather than anything else. Um, so I'm pretty decent at actually flying it with the guns, but anything else is a mystery still. Um, I only know very basically how the radar and missiles work. Um, but coming from the MiG-21, which is probably the module I've spent the most hours on, it kind of taught me to to uh, expect to be able to pull the nose up like that, because the Mirage does it even better than the MiG-21 does. So, that didn't take me that much adjusting to. Um, I can fly the Mirage in a lot of ways like I can fly the MiG-21. Just a bit more stable and a lot less to process uh, from the flying side of things. And part of what makes the Mirage fun for me to fly in dogfights like this is the fact I can just switch off the flying side of my brain and let the computer do it. Um, and then switch on the geometry part as I try and predict things like where someone's going, what airspeed they're at, what airspeed they're going to, how much I need to lead them. I'm more of an old-fashioned guy, I don't like glass cockpits, I usually don't like fly-by-wire, but in the Mirage it just, it just fits, it works right. Um, whereas a lot of the other modern aircraft I'm not really very interested in. Hey Dibbo! Let's ride along here with Tony. Oh, close. Just trying to get the camera in. Santiago is doing a pretty good job of staying behind him, but he can't seem to get the, uh, the guns on him. You can see here, one of Tawny's main defensive tactics is very similar to one of mine. It's a bad habit I need to break. If he gets the sense he's turning well, he'll keep turning. And so he just enters this endless horizontal turn which, against a Mirage, it works well. It'll, it'll eventually bleed me of energy and force me away. But against another Hornet, it doesn't work. The other Hornet just stays right on him. So I'm not sure he's really thought that one through as much as, uh, as he perhaps should. Oh, that's not the view I'm after. Go for the uh, dash cam. You can see he looks away to the aircraft and then looks back at his uh, at his hub every now and then. I need to figure out what the timing is on that because I need to know when he can see me and when he can't. If I can figure out the timing when Tawny's looking at me and when he's looking at his instruments. I can use that to roll out and get out of his sight so he loses me. Because I know he has a lot of trouble keeping eyes on the Mirage. If 
it helps me win, it helps me win. This is the thing, oh, bit of server lag there. This is the thing, Tawny and I fight each other so much that we very quickly adjust to each other's strategies and so every little advantage helps. Like, we can predict each other pretty well. The issue is I've just got to figure out how to stop him from gunning me uh, immediately after the merge. He keeps getting above me and that's when I'm in trouble. If I can survive that, it, like, if nice, I can survive indeed. the first 30 seconds, I'm fine. The problem is doing that now because he's realized if he's above me I'm in trouble. Right, that was a tough fight now. Yeah, yeah, that was a good fight. Alright, uh, who is up next? Raisin's up. Raisin. Getting flat. Get there eventually. It's so sensitive. There we go. It's a shame you can't actually get there in cockpit view. You just have to use the external model, which is obviously much less detailed and it doesn't render uh, the hub or anything. It's still cool though. Is the overshoot? Well played by Tony. Oh, not quite an overshoot. Just on the missing rear staff. Horizontal gun. Oh yeah, it is. Apparently, I've only been doing Hulk and Cold War. Until my sweetie comes out, I think it's going to be September. I think it is going to be September, yeah. I was really sad this morning, um, the Cold War server had like 15 or 16 people in it. The problem is all but two of them were on red. So I figured there was no point going and stacking it even worse. I really wish I could play on that server more often. MiG-21 vs F5 is such a great matchup. Hoggets need an all, but I don't know. PvE just doesn't scratch the itch anymore. I gotta be fighting other players. I picked up so many bad habits from fighting the AI as well that just I'm trying to unlearn oh, now. Oh man. God damn it. That wounded animal. Holy shit. <laughs> right there. That's looking good. Sorry, I, I can't get a shot on you. Take the F5 oh, radar man. and weapons compared to the 21. I was looking forward when you flew across me. I was still looking the behind you. F5 me. has a harder time with its oh, radar really? and weapons. Yeah. But oh my god, As the situational awareness in close range is so much better. Yeah. Like, yeah, I was waiting for that's the thing. It kind of it's it's almost like asymmetrical balance. The MiG-21 has, you know, it's faster, it's better in the vertical, and it has the slightly better radar and weapon systems. But once the two aircraft merge, all that goes out the window. The MiG-21 still has more missiles and better missiles, technically, um, depending on what it's carrying. But then yeah, the F-5 can Especially see so much better what's going on around this. <laughs> POM, yeah, the F-5 is like a fucking revelation visibility-wise. 
Nuts is in. Oh. And then Rossman. Alright, when you're ready, boys. There we go, Nuts is in. Like, the 21 cannot see in front of yep, itself, yep. cannot see behind itself, cannot see above itself. The F5 has almost Hornet level visibility by comparison. You've got the Canopy Bow. Yeah, fair enough. The MiG 21's is far worse. And then you've got a bit of fuselage behind you. The MiG-21, it is fully enclosed behind you. You cannot see rear of your own shoulders. You've got a shitty little periscope that can barely see above the aircraft. Oh, and you have to press your face cat. up to oh, see what's buddy. going on. Like, believe me, the F-5 isn't perfect visibility-wise, but it is so much better than the MiG-21. The MiG-21's main advantages in a dogfight are... If you need it, you have the speed, although at low level that doesn't count for much because usually uh, on the cold war server, everyone's on the edge. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's all good, it's all good. And um, the other advantage you have is the R60 and the fact you can carry so many missiles comparatively and you don't have to, uh, you know, the, the F5 has that slight delay on the guns because of the two stage trigger. That's the only advantage, really. Um, I couldn't work out why. Otherwise, the turning. F5 can see better, the F5 turns about as well. When they get down to a dogfight kind of flight regime, they are really closely matched. Really closely matched. And the MiG-21 tends to run out of fuel first, just because it burns so quick. Just want a Mirage 1 or 3 to fight the 21. The 3 is coming eventually. Uh, Razbam have it on their to-do list. And when it comes out, I'll be making some RAAF skins for it. Pom, stop making promises. You know I'm not gonna keep. Actually, to be fair, for a thousand bucks, I would shave my head. Not my eyebrows, my head. I'm not, uh, I'm not doing the full miskiff. I do not look good with a shaved head either. I made the horrific discovery at Kapuka that my head is shaped like a box. I never knew because I usually have a lot of hair up there. There it is. I'm all fogged. The are problems, mate. <laughs> nah, I didn't clean them before, and I was <laughs> fucking with them yesterday. Oh, you're not supposed to, have to be fair, nuts. I reckon if you were in a real F14, the canopy would get be uh, getting pretty fucking steamy as well. It's shaped like a box. I found out at Kapuka. That's what I said. I have no idea what a Puka bean is. Kapuka is in uh, ARTC. Yeah, cube head basically. Oh, nuts might be in a spot of bother here. Oh, that was a hit. Shotgun accuracy, bro. Uh oh. Oh, you're gonna get right, motherfucker. Yeah. Go. That one hurt. I hope not wins. I want to fight him in the Tomcat with my Mirage. I want to see how that goes. One of my controllers is a bad battery in it. Excuses. Got it? I don't need excuses. Ooh, skinny. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna kill myself. <laughs> Rest in peace. Oh. That's the day. <laughs> yes, Pom, I do remember last time. I'm trying to work out Tawny's latest uh, routine at the moment. I've got to stop him getting a bubble in from the arch. But if I climb too steep, I bleed too much energy, and he just waits for me to stall out and gets behind me. Uh, if I climb too shallow, he gets above me. The, anyway. the first version of fucking off. No idea what the fuck. <laughs> oh, now you both got stuff coming out here. Well, it's good to know I need people. It's a 
Rumble fine, yeah. Yeah. That's one for that. Big ass shield, thank you. This uh, might not look so good. It's a friendly reminder that fuel is a bourgeois luxury. Oh, 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 not quite. Get over there. This is a very even fight. Jet wash! <laughs> Jet wash is turned off, isn't it? Not for the F-14. Oh, right. There goes Jester. Where's Jester you bitch. What a little fucking putana. <laughs> oh, there was some sparkles there. Come on, nuts. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, wow. I you to uh, uh, swap teams, mama. Brazen. That's a good fight, boys. I gotta get my uh, Windex is coming out, Rain X is coming out. <laughs> I gotta get my special skin, you know. Oh, yeah, don't worry. Alright, spawn in. I got the garage again. Bag it. I really wish they would fix the jet wash. It's great to have as a feature, but the way it is at the moment is just ridiculous. Hopping on? Fuck yeah, Bomb. Get in. Fuck's sake. That was good fire, boys. Good fire. Fuck, I'm yeah, so shit. Fight. It was like I was fighting in fog. You were doing well, man, for not being able to see, so... Definitely got me next time. Okay, he ain't got the nose on. Yeah. Ooh. Not quite enough lead. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> Jink. Oh. We got skinny there. Rudder it in. Go for the snap. Not gonna get it. Okay. This is a perfect setup here for the classic Mirage. Downwards rolling scissors. He can't raise his nose enough for a shot. I can't drop mine enough for a shot. Here it comes. Oh, he might cross mine, actually. If I can just pull it a little. How low do they go? <laughs> oh, touch more rudder I would have had in there. Let's keep going, keep going, keep going. Oh, I let off too early. If I'd held that rudder over and just sprayed, we would've got him. But here we go, he's, he's uh, widening the circle here. As we get closer to the ground, this is an opportunity. Rudder it in, put the power on, he's gonna go into a reverse. And start climbing, he is so slow right now, but it, I just can't bring the nose around. He's gonna reverse right across my nose. Ah, that's where I fucked up last time. Ah. Almost got me again with that same maneuver. You're missing a piece. Yeah. You're missing I'm your old play. Oh, oh. <laughs> I knew that's that was gonna happen. Dude. I needed yeah, about dude. 10 feet more. <laughs> Yeah, it was oh. close, dude. That shadow was creeping up. I took your tail off. <laughs> um, who's next? Uh, I think it's me. I knew it was a bad idea. I backed myself, um, but it's a... didn't back myself hard enough. Santiago. I should have, instead of pulling oh, sorry, the brakes, Santiago, than me. I should have put more okay. power on, actually. You and get this, this kind of weird situation when you're that close to the ground, you think, I need to slow like down, when really it's the opposite. You've yeah, got to put the power on, put the nose down. Let it build some speed so you can get the uh, nose authority back. I just didn't have it.
interesting watching Santiago fly because at times it seems like he pulls, he lets it out, he pulls, he lets it out. I don't know if that's actually, yeah, it's because he's pinned at like 9G, he's probably trying not to black out. But it's very evident when I'm watching him. Probably needs to slow down a little. He's uh, shifting a bit too much for the turns he's trying to pull. Ooh. Close. I gotta get Tawny to uh, send me his skins as well, so you guys can see the skin that Nuts made for him. It's pretty good. I quite like the air brake. I just wish I could do the same with my Mirage. Unfortunately, the way the Mirage textures are organized. The air brake is just, a, it's mapped onto the same part of the texture and it's mirrored for all four. On the underside. Yeah, uh, yeah. 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 <laughs> Smack. I need a kill. Yeah, I pulled proper crowd in here now. G at the wrong moment. Alright. Uh, uh, Itzy, I think, Kiora. Um, and then... Um, in the red. Oh no, sorry, blue slot, blue slot. Then myself, then nuts, and then oh, Pom's in the mix as well. I am ready. I'm spawning in now. Oh, the old UFO. Um, are the other slots separated like in a completely part of yep. the map? Yep. Yep. Sure, uh, oh, cool. Anyone else want to jump in the other yeah, sure. Uh, yeah. So whoever's up next, feel free to jump in and fight Ross Mom in the slot too if you want. Is that you, Pom? Um, I think it is... Oh yeah, he's the only one it... in here. Oh no, and you're in there too. Or Nuts. Yeah, if you want to jump in there. You want to jump no. in, Nuts? Go slot two. I'll slot fight two, full range. I don't fight no back show pussies. <laughs> Fine, I'll fight it. Ross Mom would want to fight, especially in the Mirage. Yeah, I'm in. He doesn't go quite as steep as me in the merge. Got to figure out how to, like the right angle to uh, climb to make sure Tawny doesn't get above me. Because that's the big threat to my safety when I first spawn in. Or rather when we first merge is uh, if Tawny gets above me, he just drop in on my tail and I don't have the energy to do anything about it because I've just pulled a really steep climbing turn. Oh, thought I had him there. It's gonna cross my nose. I bled too much speed. Here comes the descending spiral. Might cross me again. Wait, man, that's that's oh. like three ground kills in a row. <laughs> the ground <laughs> is winning today. Gravity. All right. Um. You wanna go nuts? Yes. Slip move. Santiago, and then I'll jump in next. Yep, can. Okay. Uh, hold on. I'm looking for. Oh, you hit something. That didn't sound too healthy. Tell me one. I heard my fighting. You're fighting Santiago. Okay. Yeah, it's not yeah, great. Oh, okay. I love fighting you in that barrage. You're great at it, man. That's a, uh, you know, it's so much different than fighting AI. I love these dog fights one on one. Oh, fuck this. Can't over. You're fucking up already. No. Merge. 
I'm not mad. Someone else. I, I'm stuck in a VR menu. Oh, God damn it. Alright, respawn, uh, sent in. Copy. Alright, I'm gonna hit spawn. Spawn. Oh, where'd Pom go? Gonna go second slot again, uh, Brazen. Yep, yeah, for sure. Been crashing a lot. Uh, you two gotta watch comms. I'm in. Yeah. We gotta watch comms. Keep eyes on him through the merge. The mirage is so small and so easy to lose sight of. I'm gonna try and avoid making the same mistakes I did last time. Okay, he's gone over me. I don't know if he's gonna get the nose on. He's got a nuts producer over here. Yeah, he's gone for it. Head on. <laughs> Jesus. I think I just took off your nose cone. Uh, I believe you did. No idea where he went, I can't see him. See, this is the problem now. I've lost him visual and I have no radar to bail me out. this one hype for harpoon um should be nice Plot to have one. i wouldn't know Red i don't fly the f-18 but yeah be good to actually All finally right, have some dedicated uh anti-shipping missiles for that uh, here we go bombs in the mirage now I 
if he's having a lot of stability issues. He's got a really bad fuel leak in uh, one wing. Quite a bit of damage on the wing too, which probably isn't good. This probably should have had Tony dead a couple times here already. That would have been another chance. See how the aircraft's swinging from side to side? Normally it won't do that. This is a uh, result of the damage. Guys in the private server? Yes we are. Um, the server name is Tawny, T-O-R-N-I, and the password is Tawny Twitch, all one word. Um, and we're all using Tawny's Discord for comms. So if you want to jump in, feel free. This is a problem we run into. If you can survive the initial remerge without damage, you're pretty sweet. But if Tawny gets the nose on you at, at that point, which he keeps doing, you're either fighting with one hand tied behind your back like Pom is here, or you're out of the fight like I have been. doing his little sustain turn routine. So Tom is probably going to want to break out of this soon. We'll wait for Tony to pull his nose up. Maybe. very squarely to fight against. Um, he's doing the same kind of thing here that he usually does in the Hornet. We 
which I guess you could uh, impolitely term to be stick rank, but it works. It makes it very difficult to get a good shot on. Tough man. All right, here's up. Uh, I think it was nuts, and then Ross, and then me. Roger, Roger. Hidden. I really do hope that uh, nuts wins one, because I want to fight against him. I want to see. Uh, what he's got in the F-14 versus the Mirage. As you can see, uh, uh, they still uh, haven't fixed the issue uh, that the um, Tomcat has where one wing disappears in the LOD and then re-renders. Hopefully they fix that soon because it's causing me to break off attacks that I should have followed through a couple times. Get the nose up. On the other hand, I'm bleeding a lot of speed to pull like this. If he sustains a left turn, this is going to be an issue for me, but if he breaks out and rolls away or dives, that's what I want him to do. I'm just going to let the nose drop a bit for speed. Once he realizes what I'm doing, he's probably going to try and get some distance and roll back in, or he's just going to come straight down. I guess that works too. him under us. There we go. There we go. I think we may have cracked the tawny puzzle. Now it's my fight to lose. Ride the brakes in. Didn't quite get him there. Power back on, he's gonna roll out. Just keep an eye on him. Don't let him force the overshoot. It's all, this, all about speed management once you get behind him. You can't let him force you into an overshoot, but you also can't get too slow. 
Because if he sees you get too slow, he just starts turning like this, which then forces you to break out at some point. On the other hand, if he thinks I'm keeping up with the turn, he'll back out, which is what I want him to do, because he'll either roll out for just long enough to let me build speed, or he'll pull the nose up, which is basically an instant kill for me. Okay, that rattled him a little and made him roll out, so we can build a little more speed. But we're going to just straighten the wings a little, come in over the top, drop on him, let ourselves build some more speed, rudder it under him, don't want to get too slow here. Oh, it's getting very low there. Okay, we don't want to get locked into a bunch of head-on passes with him. He can't get the nose around there. He's also not going to have much speed. Oh, there he is. So we'll come over the top. Then go under. Oh, is he going to go up? Yes, he is. He's making it interesting. Roll it! I definitely missed my best chance earlier in the fight. This is not where I want to be against Tawny at all. Oh, he got a hit there. Seems like I'm pretty much okay, except now he's behind me again. We're just gonna run away. I've gotta build some speed back up. I've got a warning on something. Might be fuel, actually. Yep, there it goes. Fuel warning. bit of a roll on the aircraft too. Trying to spot him here, figure out where he is. There he is. Somewhere down here. Right there. myself get too slow. Come on. That is not good. That is very not good. Nice. Cheers. Yep, I fucked it up. I gotta kill him faster than that. Uh, next up. Yeah, I'm in. Pom go uh, slot two blue. Interesting. Don't know if going down like that was the best idea. Not against a Mirage. Then again, we will see.
Pom's very hard to hit when you get behind him. So I've got to be very careful as I get close. He rolls, he jinks, he speeds up, he slows down, he does a bit of everything. I've got to watch my fuel consumption too, because he knows just how quickly I go through that. It's a roll out. And back. Yeah, Those were long. You hit me. He's just trying to run me out of fuel at this point. Just keep going. Great, man. It's a lot harder when I can't outturn you. Yeah, right? <laughs> Alright, who's up against uh, Breeze and there we go. It's either Palm or Santiago. I can't remember who came in first, but. Uh... Man, or us, or fighting each other. Fighting is an interesting word for what you're doing. <laughs> Alright, good one. You say this. And then, uh, Wings, you're up next. Yeah, good. So got 730 kilos of fuel left, which is pretty decent. It's got a kind of. Keep an eye on it. He's been in burner so much, he's probably going to run out before me at this rate. Especially if I go easy here, I don't need to be right behind him, I can just stay at this distance. And that also prevents any uh, attempt by him to make me overshoot, which is what we're about to get here, I think. So we're going to come way off the power, brakes, and just try and keep eyes on him. He's trying to get tricky now and force me past him. So we're just going to ride the brakes and show him it isn't going to work. He's in burner to do this, by the way. So all the while, his fuel is ticking away. Oh. Dude. Lucky. 
He's got to be getting low. He has got to be getting low. Oh, he's gone vertical. Big mistake. Fuel state? I think I might need that. Oh, that's... I think you hit a fuel tank. I'm still 620. Really? Good fight. Yeah, not bad. Good job. Oh, you hit the wing. I thought you hit the plane. Yeah, I took your oh. wing off. I didn't notice that until I started pointing out. Discord I need to be in. Uh, Tawny's Discord is the one we're using at the moment, so um, if you head on over, give me a second here. If you head on over, the link to his Discord should be in his description or the bottle spit it out. Um, that's the Discord we're using at the moment. Fifty knots. I don't know if Santiago is going to be able to pull that out though with one stab gone. Oh yes, he can. I think. Yeah, good fight. Right. Who's in there? Santiago. Raisin versus somebody. Sorry, Oh, we got lumber in here. Nice, dude. Oh, hello. Oh, it's me, right? Alright, I'm in. Me too. Go uh, blue slot to Santiago. Try and get a fight in against everyone. Spawning in slot two. So I can still do the vertical merge against other people, it's just Tawny that has figured me out on that, I think. Well, Santiago might have as well. I don't know how his snap shooting ability is. I know Tawny's getting pretty dangerous with it. So I can't afford to let Tawny above me, but we'll see about Santiago. He's gonna cross under my nose here, which is right where I want him to be. Got a hit there. Not sure what on, he's still flying. Isn't missing anything, but I definitely saw hits. Now he's getting Oh, he's gonna stall right in front of me. This is perfect. Just take him apart. Let's 
someone else slept here. Uh, lumber. If anyone's keen to take an F5 out against the MiG-21, do let me know. Well done. Good fight, man. Um, who won that? Had a brazen and wings. Bull. All right, Pom, you want to go up against um, Bull? Slot one. Ah, uh, get in there, son. Ah, I'm ready. Go, 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 go. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I already do it if you're not ready. Oh, the F-14 oh, just has so much energy when right, it comes out like that. Good. Oh, I saw sparks. I definitely hit something. I don't know what, but I saw sparks coming out of him. There's a wing. Two seats. <laughs> I lost you immediately. God, I love the pirouette lock. Get his nose on. Oh, yes, he can. No, he can't. That was his tail. Ah, the little rubber feet on my joystick cam. I'm losing a lot of speed doing this. Okay, he's gonna Ooh, try no. for the head on here, I reckon. He's gonna dip under my nose. So we'll be ready for a snap, maybe. It's gonna be a very long one. No, couldn't pull. Not gonna keep pulling, I don't wanna bleed the energy. I'm gonna come up. I've still got his tail here. Ooh, he's turned. He's gonna cross under. Okay, he's gone down. Good. Good, good. We forced him under us. He's ready on the snap there in case, but this is the next best thing. Come off the power, hit the brakes, go high, roll it out. Brakes in, power on. High again. It is difficult keeping eyes on him when he drops behind the canopy bow like that. That's the, the biggest problem with keeping eyes on. It's gone vertical. Excellent. Oh, into the sun. Fuck. Alright. Here's the pull. There's the jink. Still got the energy for it. Just sit on his tail. He's still in burner. He's using a lot of power to keep us up. Ooh. 
Oh, skinny. Saw that one coming. Okay, it's gone back under. Close the distance. Get ready to cash. So we'll hit there. Get ready to cash him again. Looks like he managed to avoid those. We're going to start being a little less liberal with the ammo now. Up and over. Try and bait him into a climb. There it goes, but I don't have enough to pull the uh, nose around. It's like he's still got all his flight controls, which is a shame. I would have liked to knock a stab off or something there. This is risky, but we'll try it. There we go. Very slow though. But that's forced him to break out of his little turn. He's gonna go this way now. But he doesn't realize how much energy I've got built up. Now he's gonna go vertical. This is gonna bring him unstuck most likely. As he comes over the top. Oh, sneaky roll out there, that saved him. I'm very low on fuel. Mind you, he should be as well. He's been in burner this whole time. Go vertical again, please. That would make my day. Oh, uh, really? Oh, it exploded. <laughs> yeah. <under. laughs> wow. Went just out of the engagement. <laughs> Rolled out. Oh, well. Oh, that's fine. Yeah, good fight. Yeah. Alright, so how's this work now? Because that was basically a draw. <laughs> no, go ahead, man. I'm gonna duck out for a minute out of the uh, Discord. I'll be back. Alright. So I wanna get on red one? Anyone? Sure. I'm in. Alright, likewise. There he goes. Over the top. Ooh, that may have been a mistake by me. I don't know if he's gonna get the nose on. I don't think he will, but I'm very, very slow now, and I'm having to stay in burner. And he's just gonna build the distance again. There he is. Oh, he's gone over the top. Got lost sight of him there. I need to stop letting him draw me into these turning circles. I really need to stop letting him do that. Because, I mean, he hasn't gained the advantage, well, he has now, on 70, or 70 kilograms of fuel. He's just relying on the fact he has more fuel than me. That's it. And mm. I just lost my radar, and I'm about to lose my engine. Alright, here's next. No. Flame. Engine gone. Lumber. Yeah, so I flamed out just now. Uh, just me. Uh, uh, fly when you're ready. Come in. Slot one, right? Yeah. Alright.
Uh, next one in slot two. All right, I'm there I go. You're up number three. to join in here. Uh, it's uh, gonna yeah, Yo. Um, there's uh, well, see, I'm yeah, I've been here going. for a while. I'm just, uh, Woo! Just, 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 Maybe one of you guys knows off the top of your head the the, the different uh, radar modes for close combat, right? Uh, for the Hornet. Oh, yeah. yeah. For the Hornet. Hornet, you want um, sensor select. Powered missiles. We haven't got any missiles. This is guns only, boy. Ain't no missiles in here. That's under hotels. Um, sure, maybe, probably. Keep going. So, I'm just going to have the shop in here. Looking good. Overshoot. Right, can he get the nose on? Track I am showing my head and my face. Yeah, my Big pull, but no shot. It's like it's compressing my spine. This is why Pong's so hard to hit. There we go, he's forced the overshoot now. No, it doesn't, Marius. It does not have any forward swap. Well, the thing is. There aren't any uh, forward swept combat aircraft that actually went into operational service. The SU-47 was just a proof of concept 
and the uh, Grumman X29 was just a proof of concept as well, so... None in DCS. Damn, it seems like a German shooter fucking lose you. Oh, nice. That blue blend is good. There we go. Alright, right. next one in with Brazen. Get him? No, he's still flying. Jeez. Got a few holes in him though. Alright, I'm in. Here it comes. Activate the bug. Uh, the... This bug. <laughs> oh! Oh, what the hell? Oh. A little knob on the far right above the, uh, spin recovery. <laughs> Turn the brightness up. <laughs> Don't think I've ever come that close to fucking belly sliding. I saw you go through. Thanks, yeah, same here. <laughs> same. I guess someone jumped in. I'll jump out. Uh, is anyone in red? I can jump in. Or in, uh, in blue. Um, the Hotas as well for the helmet is called HMD slash HMD off slash right now CW increase. Yep, I found it. Thank you. All right, man. Thank you. Stalled it. He stalled it. Tom can just crank the nose around now. This is his best opportunity. Couldn't quite get it there. Hey, you're going really fast. No tail. Makes any sense? Yeah, no, mine does exactly the same thing. I just whip my head down really hard, and it like fucking. Who's up, slot one? I'm in blue one. I'm in blue two. Wanna have a go, someone? Turning? Uh, I'll go into slot two. All right, let's take one. one. Keep going. All right, Ross, let's go. I'm in five. Uh, who's playing slot 2? Lumber, I mean, wings, any of you guys can jump in there. Uh, I'm jumping in. Nice. I'm in. Spawning. Guess not. My bait didn't work. Oh, he might try here. He's gonna go under me. The problem is I'm very slow, so he's just gonna shoot straight back up. I don't have the energy to follow. Oh no, he's gonna come down. He can't pull the nose. Not quite, nor could I. And just get above him. And lock him into this. There we go. There we go. That's what I like to see. That's done that thing. Nice. 
Oh, that's a good kill. Right. Hmm. Got a little too slow there. That brazen key gun. I gave him okay, some distance I don't want to give him. That's alright, he'll tell back in here. All right. We'll just try and drop him just killed me. Stay in and... Lumber is still there. You want to come spot two lumber? Uh, whatever. Is he going to do the yeah, go ahead, man. sustain turn thing that Tawny does? Looks like he's going to break out of it here, maybe. Something to hit for? Alright, we'll pull in, pull in. I'm in, sorry. Couldn't quite get there. Of course. Yeah, he's doing Tawny sustain turn business. Just drop the nose. Let's speed build a bit. I'm not going to put too much effort into following him. Now we pull. It's going to reverse it. There we go. Oh, no, he's not. I don't want to encourage him to keep doing that because while I can keep up with his turns, it's very costly to me. So I'd rather force him to go back to his usual routine of rolling and jinking, like so. Too slow there. I think he knows it. Right, he's turning again, but we've had a chance to pick the speed back up. Yes, climb, climb for all you're worth. Uh, sorry, guys. Well enough set up that I can at least gunfight. Yes, for the server? Uh, correct, yes. Yeah, just Torny, T O R N I. Fine, man. Hey, you too. Oh, okay, same password. Jesus. I'm gonna run out of ammo. Really bad shooting this flight. The password was T O R N I. Yeah. Yep. Tony Twitch as well. Fuck. Come on. Come on. Spot two is open. There you go. Come on, jump in, boys. Jump in. First, he baits me into wasting my fuel. Now, he baits me into wasting my ammo. Wink, you ain't not spot one. Uh, I wasn't, but I could be. I'm pretty sure you're up next, so... Fuel. If you want to take out Santiago, he's on a killing... He's on a killing streak. Let, let me at him. <laughs> Alright, Santiago, let me know when. He's got to be pretty low on fuel too. Probably not as bad as me, but pretty low.
So we're uh, switching the hornet to flip off the G limit. Hey, you can't turn it off completely. It's only a temporary. It's a uh, nose wheel disengage. Iron air to air mode. Or wheels up, I should say. Ten kilos. Gonna stay out of burner as much as possible. I let myself get baited into these horizontal turns too easily. I really need to work on that a lot. Not just here, but in aisle two as well. But Jeez, here it's a killer against the Hornet. Did I got you? Yeah, you, yeah, I think you found a kill. Mm. 15 rounds per gun, so... Still, though, I lost visual and you were I want to make sure I'm back. right I on him like... before I take a shot. <laughs> but fine, man. he's so unpredictable, it's very difficult to get that shot. I can get behind him and stay behind him easily enough. The issue is just getting the gun picker to settle on him for long enough. Jump in that slot too, Dylan. Pretty sure up next. Or tourniquet, maybe. Uh, I was gonna rock on that bum fight. You guys can. Yeah, that's, that one's going on for a long time. Oh, come on, come on, come Slot on. Get the nose, get the nose. Uh, okay, I think I'm good to go. Oh, man. Oh, my lord. Come on. Power, power. This my... Last gasp of fuel here, 20 kilos. I think he might be out too, or very close to it. Come on, come on, come on. And ammo. I got enough. You got to feel and ammo? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's cool. The golden snitch. I had 310 pounds of fuel flies from the air. Alright, let's go bomb. Alright. Blood. Yeah. This would be a real good one for watch. Here on me. One of the time. You fucking did that. You fucking disappeared right off the top. Right out of my screen.
Oh, good shit. Alright. Yes. You are the golden sink, bro. Fucking hell. <laughs> I didn't even see those around. You went straight to the pilot. Alright, so now it's next off. Blue slow. Watching Santiago just move his nose. Oh, oh yeah, he is warping there. A little bit of a. Uh... Well, I'm good to jump in. There's a slot open. Let's watch Lumba. Straight into the vertical. Same as what I used to do. Still do against everyone that isn't tooling. Uh, he's falling for the bait though, he's going up into the second climb. So he's gonna go right down to the stall. Cut that wing right off. Yeah. That, uh, the way you whip that nose is upset. And then to try and pull his nose onto Tawny, he's gonna lead off what little energy he regains here. Oh, and Tawny's just gonna keep going great. Catch you later. Go for him.
able to regulate my airspeed right on the floor. These things go much faster than the uh, nines and shit. <laughs> <laughs> Are you ready to make 21? You want to Ah, I've got two. Hang on, hang on. Oh, who, who's next? Oh, sorry, I was just sitting in here. Uh, I'll jump out of SWAT. Right, you want to fly 21? Two. I'm in slot one. Challenges go. I just realized it's going to take me a while to load my textures here. Oh, it's Santiago. Turn. Turn. Right. Santiago. In fly. Same. Right, I'm just going to. I'm gonna, just, ages. I'm just going to hit fly matches. on this so I can load it in. And uh, once that's sorted, I'll respawn. I, I would definitely fly the 21 against you. I don't have it mapped, so I haven't flown it since uh, reloading my. You got the F5? Okay, that should be loaded Same in. problem. Ooh. Yeah, unfortunately I've only really messed with the Tomcat Hornet, uh, a couple of choppers. Carrier, A10. Alright, wanna do 29 versus 15 then? My oxygen. <laughs> Same thing. Same thing? I don't have any of the Flaming Cliffs 3 mapped at all. I've never played those. I think I'm dead. Alright, how about? I have Tomcat, Hornet, Mirage. So I can fly against you right now. Any of them. 29 versus Tomcat. There you go, Brazen. Do it. Yeah. Yeah, you're fine. There's not a. Bombcat on the red team. Oh yeah, I'm sorry, the, the slot 2 is just combined with the slot. Yeah, I'm ready. Alright, slot 1 is, is available as well. Slot 1. Oh right, I forgot it had to load the uh, jet. I'm not in yet, it's still it's just sitting. On 2, Tony? Not sure if I crashed, maybe. Ah, uh, we got uh, Lumber Hex in a second. Uh, okay, now I'm in. Alright, uh, just respawn. I think we may have already merged. <laughs> Back in. Yeah.
lost him. How the fuck do you lose an F-14? It's huge. We're going to have to wait until he's behind me to, so I can uh, pick him up again. The problem is, once he's behind me, I'm going to have a lot of trouble getting rid of him. Right. Peace, Santiago. Well done. Oh, there he is. I completely lost you. Same. I got you now. <laughs> Roger. I don't even gonna be able to get up there to do anything about him there. You know, for an aircraft that's supposed to have a, thr a thrust to weight ratio of more than one in real life, this thing does not build speed in this game. Uh, which aircraft? 29. And I'm, I mean, probably two thirds fuel load at this point. Yeah, sorry, I went up to space and I can't find you. And I can't get up to space because this thing is draggy as all fuck off. <laughs> and I'm sure my contrail is helping a lot, so I'll start coming mm. down. What's the matter, Jester's not helping you out there, Brizzy? I got him now. Again. All the Flaming Eclipse 3 jets, every single one of them feels way too draggy. I'm barely pulling the stick and look how badly I'm shedding speed here. It's ridiculous. In an aircraft renowned for being able to just stand on its tail and climb, right? Man, I feel like I'm in a fucking Cessna. Ah. Legit, I, I just cannot get up to his altitude. Yeah, he doesn't have much to get down to you either. It's still pretty new. Lost on my lift for a second. Finally, we get a chance. And I've got no roll authority. Oh my lord. This thing is so nightmarish to fly at anything other than 600 or more kilometers an hour. I know it's not going to have the, the uh, tame handling of the Mirage. It's not fly by wire. Not proper fly by wire. But. All the same, <clears throat> if I can speak, all the same, this doesn't feel right. It just does not build speed. And with the power to weight ratio of this aircraft and how lightly built it is, it should build speed. Especially when I'm not even vertical, like I am now, but when I was trying to accelerate with the nose only a little up and not pulling, it still would not do it. And there's the overshoot. Oh, shoot him. Uh -oh. Completely lost him in that. The one time I need it to actually slow down, it doesn't do it. All my roll is coming through the rudder right now. I have no stick at all. Nothing I do with the stick in the roll axis will affect the way the aircraft's flying right now. 
Again, all rudder. All rudder. Guys, I haven't gotten off the burners once. Oh, not I can't. This thing just. It's so draggy, dude. It's worse than the Hornet for drag. I'm in full burner, barely pulling the nose. I'm doing 300 kilometers an hour. That's what, like 180 knots? Uh, I can tell you. <laughs> Up to three. You're doing 100. Ninety-nine. Getting very low on fuel as well. Welcome to the MiG-29. Now compare how difficult it is for me to pick energy back up and how quickly it bleeds off with the F-14, an aircraft enormously larger, much heavier. It does have a very good thrust to weight ratio, but like, it's just night and day. And I am running very rapidly out of fuel because the MiG-29 has no fuel to begin with and I've got to stay in burner for this. Oh my lord. That's a very interesting tactic. You didn't see Top Gun, bro? No <laughs> roll authority. <laughs> Thank you. Fly right by. Good point, man. Good point. Okay, okay, my bad. You're right. Good fight, bro. Yeah, good fight. I got it stuck in there. I owe it. Alright, next one up, slot one. Just cannot get the nose on him long enough to get a shot. Yeah. Oh, ready. Oh, no. Roger. And he's leaving me behind. Totally leaving me behind. Air set. Don't have you locked for some reason. There you are. Okay. I'm about to run out of fuel. There's the 800 kilogram warning. If I don't kill him in a moment here, I'm going to run out of fuel, and he's going to win by default. Getting the breakaway warning because I'm too close. Don't do that. It's not cool. <laughs> It is legitimately easier to dogfight in the MiG-21 than the MiG-29 in DCS. This thing is just so draggy. So draggy. Oh, there's the hit, finally. Oh, shit. Nice shot, dude. That took so much work. I'm on 600 kilograms of fuel. Yeah, I had 400 or something. I was so close to flaming. Alright, who's in slot 2? Uh, if you're in that, I'm gonna switch. Actually, no, I'll stay in the 29. Fuck it. Spawning in. That's the end. Don't hit. I'm just absolutely in struggle town with this thing. And yeah, I, really I can still watch it. Oh, I forgot to turn on fucking home display shit. I could have swore that fucking took your wing off. I guess not. This looks like it's gonna be a head on pass. Yep. I don't know, I'm sure there's a way to fly this effectively, that, and I'm not doing it, but it just, it's so difficult yeah, to like, even get anywhere near him. Dude, uh, when you climbed after me after that second one, I was like, This flight model does not feel right to me. 
Like, everything Still except the it. drag fails, right? right. It, it just, one. it doesn't build uh, speed, and it sheds it too quick. It yeah. stalls, which is more than you can say for most of the Flaming Cliffs 3 okay. modules. You ready, Dom? Yeah, ready. I have some serious, uh, serious doubts when it comes to the 29's flight model. Which really only come into play when it comes to this close range knife fighting stuff. You don't really notice it normally. Because you don't normally get this slow. I'm in full burner. I've been in full burner this whole time, by the way. Look how easily he can pull down to shoot me, and I just cannot get the nose anywhere near him. Full left stick, full left rudder. Say nothing of the nightmarish fucking attempt to get the radar to keep lock on him, because FC3 avionics. See, in the amount of time it takes me to just not hit the ground, he can turn his nose on me like it's nothing. This thing is way too draggy. Look at this. It, it just doesn't build speed. Holy oh, shit! <laughs> this thing seriously has drag like it's carrying fucking four bags on it. Kind of parachute. Oh, did I? Oh my god, yeah, that you were cool. Yeah, I can't turn. I, I have no control response at all. And he can just slide in behind me. I'm dead. So why don't fly the FC3 modules in dogfights? If I could capitalize on any of these shots, I'd fuck this well. Look at this. Oh, and now I am fucked. I'm dead. Yeah, the MiG-21 is the MiG-21 is a better dogfight than the 29 in this game. Oh wow, two maneuver kills. Wow, it's a good fight. All right. I keep, I keep zooming out way too fucking I feel like I'm looking through goddamn fish island. I can't see shit. So that was very lucky. Alright, who's up in, uh... I want to see Lumberhacks and Rossman fight. Mirage versus Mirage. You boys are both... Dude, range. that Mirage... That Mirage is fucking nuts, man. Yeah. Holy shit, dude. That, I yeah, think I'm that's probably the first dog. Red slot one. Uh, slot one is ready. Yes, yeah, so we've got Dylan slot versus Wings morning. in slot one. And on the slot two, Lumberhax versus Ross. Go, Wings, go. go. So, yeah, much as I love the MiG 29 as an aircraft in DCS, it's just. It's fun to fly with missiles, but when it comes to guns, it's so bad. So bad. I would fly the 21 over the 29 in guns only. In fact, I have. All the extra power and airspeed of the MiG-29 and its acceleration counts for nothing in DCS because the drag model's fucked. It's just way too draggy. Even the 21's not that bad. And the 21 should be draggy. Oh fuck, I've made a terrible mistake. Let's go into the classic Mirage spiral here. Oh, my music stopped. Wish the fucking static reticle on the gun sight was a bit more pronounced. That'd be real sweet. I yeah. think I'm screwed here. Oof, got skinny. so hard to get rid of another mirage behind you like that. Alright, you wanna go?
you and Brazen against uh, Lumber Hair. <laughs> hey, what, uh, what kind of fuel are we spawning at? The Mirage is at 48 percent This is just from the, um, the rules that the Dogfight Tournament's going to have. That's why it's at a certain fuel. Yeah, yeah, I copy. Well, what's the Hornet at? Uh, Hornet's at 57 percent of them. Same problem I have. I, I let him do it way too easily. Here's a chance. Stepped away. It's, he's next. Otherwise, uh, no, wing still here. Yeah. Slot one. Slot one. Yep. Yeah. All right. In flight. I do want to get a fight in the MiG-21 against someone. I'm just not sure how I'm gonna work it out logistically with this many people in here. Totally lost yeah, you. Good point, man. Oh. <laughs> He's not going to get his nose in. 
And that's all good, so man. So we're just gonna kick ass Part of the now. job fighting the fucking missile. Now pull. Alright, next one I'm the cancel. Oh, fuck. Oh, oh god. Oh, that was so close. Nice. Oh my lord. Come on. Come on, Mirage. Come on. Oof. I hit something. Good kill. I think the reign of terror is definitely over. Oh, hello. Hey, Atomic, thanks for the raid, dude. Came in just in time to see me die horribly to the water. So we're running some dogfights against each other. And uh, it's been pretty interesting. Here's a good shot. Oh, get more water. Thanks, man. Hope yours went well. Hey, Crocodile Dundee, thanks for the follow. Alright, who was that? Who just won that one? Is that you? Uh, we were just fine against. Uh, or was that Brazen that just won? That would have been Brazen. I forgot to back out of my slot, my bad. Can I bribe, bribe someone into uh, an F5? I, I really want to get the 21 in. I'd love to um, if I owned the F5. There we go, Tawny's in. Good Is that slot 2? Yep, slot 2 red. Second slot, slot 2. There we um, go. Hims. Round textures unloaded themselves, just DCS things. Good for slot one. Right on. Let me know when. Go. God, the F5 is so hard to keep eyes on. It's that little gray speck right there. Looks like he's coming in under my nose. possible situation for MiG-21. There is an F-5 near you and you can't see him. He's behind me. I don't know where behind me because, like I said, I can't see him. Thank you. 
I like you. Look how bad I am this fucking thing. Go ahead, lumber. Oh, okay. Stop pulling late. Ready? Yep. Go. Make sure I don't stole this low to the ground. Attack. 32, 33 nice, is about my limit. Nice, nice. Critical angle's marked at 28 and a half, but it's a safety margin. 32 or 33 is my actual critical angle. Problem is, if I stall at this altitude, it's very easy to go into a secondary stall. The MiG 21 uh, is quite unstable, and the nose bobs up and down very easily. So if you go into a stall at low altitude, it's very easy to go into a secondary and then lose it. It's getting very low there. Oh, that's it. Oh shit, where's I... he gone? Good fight, man. You almost drilled me with that snapshot. Yeah, you're just a little low under my nose. That fucking mirage is tough. The, uh... There he is. Fight before that, I don't know who I was fighting. I think it was Wings. I mean, I didn't use Aftermare the, the whole fucking time. <laughs> yeah, it's, I mean, it's one of these uh, crazy flight control systems. It's super easy to turn inside people. You don't even have to put... Raising you want to have 14 But that fucking Mirage 2000 is yeah, sure. retarded creep. Can't see him at all. No idea where he is, other than somewhere I don't want him to be. Sorry, I'm signing up for that fucking tournament. I'm really questioning my choice to use the horn. Oh, I stole it. Whoa. So I've got to adjust my rudder curves on the uh, MiG-21 because I'm using the rudder to roll at high angle of attack but I'm kicking it too hard so it over rolls it makes it very hard to keep track of it Yeah, that's the problem with the MiG-21 you have a couple of issues uh, one of them is you burn fuel at a ridiculous rate um, you can't see outside because the visibility is so bad, both forwards and rearwards and above you because of the periscope. So you've got very limited um, situational awareness. You've got a really quite poor gun sight. Uh, his gyro sight's not great, but it's better than mine. And the other problem the MiG-21 runs into is that it maneuvers Whoa, very well, but it can't maneuver quite well enough to get its guns easily on the F5. If I had an R60, that fight would have been over in about 10 seconds. Which is why the uh, the R60 on the MiG-21 is such a good weapon. It stops F5s from doing that to you, but if you're only uh, limited to like um, R13s or God I forbid, wait one, R3Ss, yeah, you're gonna have a bad day. Uh, yep, spawning in. Freezing here and there. Oh, 
Also, the traces in this are really hard to see against the sky now. They've done something to them, I don't know what, and it makes it difficult to judge where your shots are going. Damn, I still lose control in some of those rolls. Need to get better at flying this thing. MiG-21 turns fantastically tight. The problem is you've got to be watching the uh, AOA to do it without stalling and you can't watch the AOA and keep eyes on the target at the same time unless they're directly in front of you. So until you get right behind them, you're in trouble. It's very easy to stall this thing out without the, the actual feel of having, you know, backside in the seat. And you don't get the rattles and shakes that you do in the F-14 to tell you that you're getting close. Just one area of the F-14 module really shines above everything else in this game is how much feedback it gives you. I'm not gonna win this against him, I don't think. Oh, well, maybe. Maybe, maybe. We'll keep pulling. Oh, there's the stall. It's all she wrote, I think. Oh. Took a long time to break out of that. Yeah, I can't. Uh, and the time it took me to recover, he's already roll. behind me. Oh, you're missing a stab, shit. Yeah. This thing's, uh. I'll just, I could probably fly to those mountains out there, but I'll just eject. <laughs> I can't turn at all. <laughs> Close enough. <laughs> well done. Good fight, man. <laughs> Here's the other problem. Half the time you force them to overshoot, you don't see where they go. Because the visibility is so, so bad. He's behind me again. I can't see him. There he is. Oh, you wing. Uh, who am I flying? Oh, uh, I guess Dylan. He might be just floating around in his parachute, out know, smoking a cigarette. Wait, I didn't think he was in. Go ahead, Lumber. You and Wings. Okay, yeah. Oh, if you're gonna fly the flagger, can you do it in spot one? Or in uh, blue, I mean, so I can <laughs> hop in the 18 on the red. He wants that blue camo. Yeah, true. Now, Dylan's in that slot. Can I hop in that slot? Dylan's already in there. Oh, that's oh. right. No. Alright, let me know. He's pressing his parachute. Okay, ready. Drill. <clears throat> Oof. Tourniquet and Ross going at it over here in the Cold War jet. I'm really clumsy with that because, again, I can't see the angle of attack indicator when I'm watching him. So I have no idea what I'm pulling until I hear the wind from the uh, aircraft stalling out. It's really irritating. I need some kind of, like, if I had a force feedback stick or, like, one of those butt kicker things, maybe, it would be easier to feel what the aircraft is doing because you need to feel the MiG-21. It's the only way to fly it in close combat like this, is if you can feel it or if you can see that gauge. Because that is the most important thing in the cockpit when it comes to this kind of flying. Problem is I'm probably going to run out of fuel here because I've been burning the whole time, mind you, so is he. Come on, come on. 
I just gotta close this range so I can take the shot. Way off. Pull harder. But I can't. I'm on the edge of a stall as it is. Need to pull harder and get closer. See, he's fully aware of the fact he can't outturn me. He will not get on my tail doing this. But he knows that I'm burning a ridiculous amount of fuel to do it. But I can't really break out, because if I break out, I lose sight of him, and if I lose sight of him, I lose the fight. Might have a chance here if I can just get close enough. Like the Mirage, the MiG-21 has very, very poor throttle response, but that's as a side effect of the engine being uh, so resistant to compressor stalls. When you're flying the 21, you can actually bait Viggins into compressor stalling themselves and killing their engines. Unfortunately, it doesn't work so well against F5s. Because they are every bit as agile as you are. Oh, there's an engine. We got a hit on it. Where the fuck did he go? Uh, I'm kind of stuck. What the hell's that? My HUD is stuck. There he is. Oh, now it turned off. Never mind. There we go, there's a hit. Yeah, here we go. Hold I on. must be almost out of fuel here. There's a stall. Let the nose drop, let her recover. Mi-21 recovers very like easily from any like kind of stall or spin. Like but you need the height to do it. Very confused it will recover at low altitude, so you can do some risky shit. Obviously, it's preferable not to get into that condition of flight to start with. Yeah, I mean, you're going, like, wait. I'm, I'm uh, setting up some controls if you want to keep going. Okay. Alright, we're. Uh, are you on? I'm back, sorry. Uh, but as you can see, there. F5 versus MiG-21 is a very even fight close in. A whip? No, very no, even. Whip. There's almost oh, nothing shit, to no, choose between them. Oh, I just sorry. lost my engine. No fuel. Dude, I can just hang out and wait until the pre spot. Right. <laughs> Nothing's better than the Eagle. Probably not a good time to play. Okay, I'm ready. Alright, let's roll. Fumble every fucking key. I'm in. I just totally lost sight of him against the ground. Oh, fucking F5s, dude. 
That's why I hate fighting them. He's behind me again. Somewhere. I don't see him, but he's back there somewhere. There he is. Hold on. Yeah, good fun gun. I totally lost you while I was turning around. Stall. No, how did you? I just dropped the power back on. Using his shadow to keep track of him when I can't see his actual aircraft. See, this would be the ideal situation for an R60 shot right here. Good but for I don't have any one. R60s. Sorry, we're doing it the old-fashioned oh, way. Yeah. Put overshoot by him. Put the power ah. on, roll out vertical. Brake on the way back down. He's under my nose though, so anything tricky he does like that, I'm not gonna see. Fly! 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 Stalled it. Got a little too heavy-footed on the rudder. Oh shit, no, 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 no. Okay, we saved it from the secondary, just. Gentlemen, don't head on. I think you're up. Do you want to go? Go ahead, man. I'm still it's doing absolute control. hail mary. Uh, it's trying to map some of my other jets so I can fly them. Ready? It. All right, let's do it. Just managed to save that. Hit it.
So that that uh, <coughs> line that bisects that the the gun sight reticle circle when you've locked on that I imagine is their wing line. The one that rotates. Yeah. Jeez. Could be. Not sure actually. Pom did tell me what it was, but I forgot. Sorry. <laughs> That is a big pull for an F5. Oh, come on! Come on! Up we go. Keep doing that, and it, every time I might get the advantage, I manage to clumsily stall the aircraft, and it puts me back to square one. He's gonna run me out of fuel again if he doesn't shoot me first. Lost sight again. Right. Radar. Oh, well done. Oh, there he is, right off my nose. Thank you. Missed a couple of those snapshots. I'm fucking not happy about it. Yeah. So you're trying to reach out and touch me. Uh oh. Oh. Holy shit. <laughs> My problem is I've hit the bubble and I can't see the red smoke. yellow tracer though. I'm just about to run out of fuel again. Nuts has got grass stains? Yeah, I reckon. Trousers got some other kinds of fucking stains on him too after that. You're gonna burn me out of fuel again. Down to my last hundred liters. I might as well not even have a fucking gun, bro. I cannot fucking aim it to save my life. Same here. You have a better gun sight than me, but not by a huge amount. And I can't see where my traces are going, so we're both kind of handicapped in that regard. Didn't sound good. I'm ready on. Well, that's a red smart. Oh, pretty good, Ardell. Did I just hear an ace combat thing, Sam? Yeah, I yeah, think there's a 12, there's a 12 nautical mile bubble. If you go out of it, it'll play that sound. If you go outside of 15 nautical miles with the red smoke, I... you explode. Why didn't it spawn me? What the fuck? Oh, there we go. Alright. Fight's on.
flame out. That was it. Yeah. Dude, that pure wet bullshit though is pretty clutch. I have to think silly. You even one up it too and split the throttle. <laughs> <laughs> I would go ahead better than that. <laughs> You're still going somehow. Yeah, no, I'm about to die. Yeah, I think your engine's got toasted up. Smack! Does that count as a moral victory? <laughs> <laughs> what, because I dove on you and tried to shoot you? Alright, anyone else want to fight Ross Mum in a uh, Cold War jet? I'm done with the F5. Oh, my hands are cramping up after that. Uh, I only have anything bound for the F18, right? Roger. I don't own any Cold War players. Yeah, I'll find them in the F-14. Surprised <laughs> I don't see you do more shit like high area or low area. Yeah, really um, I need to do that more. I have yeah. a bad habit of just falling people the, into uh, horizontal turning big. fights, which I really yeah. shouldn't. Fight someone in the Mirage end. Alright, I'm in slot one. Here's slot one. Yeah. I'll, I'll fight you in the Mirage. Uh, well, I mean, I'll be in the other. Spawning in slot two. Go. Go. This should be a little less difficult. I, I mapped it, I was just like, uh, what do I do? This is my first time flying this in forever. <laughs> we'll let him go over the top. I don't want to let him stay above me, but at the same time, I don't want to waste energy going up after him. Okay, he's not going to be able to get the nose on for a shot here, probably. No, he might. He might. Oh yeah, he did. Okay. Did not expect that. Force him past. Oh, get skinny. Okay, he surely must be running out of the ability to pull his nose up now. Do I still have a radar? No, I don't. Really, he shot that out. Alright, well, we're doing things the old-fashioned way. Oh, I think I nicked him there. Sick. Sick. There we go. Oh, nice. Good kill. Thanks, you got my radar with that first hit. Alright, someone jump in, uh, blue slot two. Get to use my own skin when I'm on red, so... Yeah, I'll go. Spawning it. Yeah, some of the damage models are a little funky. The, uh, MiG-21's damage model for quite a number of months. Um, earlier this year and late last year wasn't talking to the flight model, so you could be missing most of a wing and it would handle as if there was nothing wrong with it. I don't know about the F5s, but at times it does seem a little questionable. DCS in general really needs the damage models to be overhauled. Something severe. Where did he go? 
Oh, shit. It is not good when you lose people through the merge like that. Lost you. One's up. There is. Um, Force the overshoot. Power back on. I don't have enough to go up with him, but he's about to stall, so it's all good. Rubber it in. Come on. There we go. He still has no speed behind that thing, so we get a chance for a snap here. Oh, maybe not. Not quite as heavy on the rudder as I should have been, but he's going to cross me again here. Stay on him. He's going to pull up. He's going to stall again right in front of me. Oh, shit. Well done. Thanks. I'm probably best out of all the DCS aircraft I have in the Mirage, but I'm still not great with it. There's a lot of stuff i got to work on. Anyone in slot 2? There we go. No, 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 no. Hang on. Yeah, no, I don't think anyone's in there yet. Alright, I'll race one. The problem with the MiG-21 is you're very restricted in the uh, maneuvers you can do purely because you need to keep them Ooh, in sight, and you have such a restricted vision or uh, field of vision out of the MiG-21. Like that's why I pretty much only go rolling scissors in the 21. It's because that's the only way I can keep my eyes on. Whereas uh, in other aircraft, I can be a little more creative. Although in the Mirage as well, rolling scissors goes pretty well just because your ability to uh, pull the nose up on people. You get them into a vertically descending one, and nine times out of ten you're going to win that fight. Unless it's against another Mirage, or a very experienced Hornet pilot. Go under. He's gone down. Good. Makes me happy when people go under me in the Mirage. It's the best way to get on them. Okay, we'll start pulling. He's going to come slow over the top. Uh, he might get the nose around. Not quite. Nah, that's good kid. Yep, I can't fly a Mirage for shit. I fucked up there. Alright, someone's in against Lemon. Okay, we're above him. We'll try and stay above Billy, him. Billy, ready on me? No, go ahead, man. Put him in your Alright, let's roll. Oh, close. Y'all missing a piece. Pretty Cashed everything I had well. on that. But it's alright, we're behind him now. And he's just as low energy as I am. So he's gonna have to go down. Which is exactly where I want him to go. Oh, there you are. Drop in on his tail. Get ready to bleed some speed if he tries to force an overshoot here. Which he's doing right now. It's 
Swing and a miss. Oh, he's very slow. He might oh, even Oh, I needed that, that rudder. Ooh. Yep. There we go. Kill. Thanks. It's a good fight. Yeah, it's fun, man. <laughs> oh, shit. You just went through the earth. Yeah, I had a tree. My jacket got caught in my fucking war dog. <laughs> and then you vanished. Oh, is that what? Oh, yeah. I was honestly wondering how the fuck I got behind you because you had me in like in your sights. Yeah, I went to go yank the throttle back. <laughs> my jacket caught in my red altimeter button. <laughs> really? Take a bit of a risk here. Uh, Start cranking around. Go next. Good, Oh! Nah, he's gone, good. man. Alright, ready? Oh, yeah. Slot two is free. Stay one. Alright, uh, let's roll. Hey, bro, he's coming now. I'm spawning again. Oh, I gotta try real hard not to get distracted by this thing. Try the vertical again this time, we'll see how that goes. Oh, oh, that's gonna go very interestingly because he's gone down. Last thing you want to do against a Mirage is dive straight out of the merge. Just roll out. Holy shit, that was close. What's up, man? It's trying to force an overshoot down here. Jesus, I do not know how to fight Mirage. Well done. 
Yeah. You were doing good keeping me in arm's length, that's for sure. Ooh, well time roll. Yeah, I just kept trying to rip and He's then getting like, good at telling you when I'm gonna up, shoot so like that. Like, fuck it, let me just try to like do what the fuck I was trying to do. about enough of that nonsense. Let's bring him up here. What I really want him to do is go up. fuel. Very low on fuel, but I gotta hit that. Let's uh, try something a little different. It's probably gonna actually end up going badly for me, but we will try it. No, I skipped my pilot. Really? Good Hail Mary. Jesus. Alright, he's up next. I'll take him on. Last one for them. Yeah, I think next might be my last as well. I need some food. Spawn in. I'll jump in, uh, red one. Oh, I should have jumped in the Tomcat too. Here, let me respawn. Interesting, he's got a horizontal. Oh, this is gonna be perfect. Did you spawn, Jeeve? He stalled. Uh -huh. Yeah, I'm in now, it's loading, yep. Oh, gotcha, yeah. Oh, I see you now. So close. So close! 
It was perfect, I just didn't put in enough rudder to get the hits. That's alright. We'll make up for it here. Are you still loading? Yeah. Okay, I'll just let me know when you're in and I'll spawn it. Once a Hornet pilot figures yeah, out I'm what the Mirage is good at, they get very hard to fight, like Tawny okay. is. But the guys that haven't fought Mirage as much, they try a lot of things that make them very easy kills, like thinking they can force an overshoot. If the Mirage pilot is paying any attention at all, you will not force an overshoot. It's physically impossible. The only thing that will do it is another Mirage. Good fight. Cheers. Alright guys, thank you very much for the fights. Uh, that is going to do me for the evening, I think. Cool, later on. And just Ready. before I go, Bye, show off my little skin here. Alright guys, thank you very much for watching, uh, it was pretty good. Tawny's still difficult to beat, he's still kind of sort of figured me out, so I, I've still got to figure out how to counter him now. Um, I did try some of the things I thought might work, they didn't work as well as I expected. Um, it's still very much hit or miss who wins. If he gets his nose on me after the merge, in the first... 10 or 20 seconds after the merge, it's pretty much potluck if I survive or not. If I do survive, then I've got a really good chance, um, unless he just runs me out of fuel, which he's taken to trying to do um, recently. Anyway, I'm going to send you guys over Tawny's way, since him and the boys look like they're still fighting for a bit. Um, thank you all for joining me. And I will probably be streaming again tomorrow. Um, I'm not entirely sure I've got a couple of things I need to sort out, which may run into my normal streaming time. Um, otherwise, I will certainly be streaming over the weekend as well. I'll be doing some more IL-2 as well as more DCS stuff. So yeah, we'll just wait for this to count down, and then I'll send you along to Tawny, and you guys can watch the rest of that little dogfighting practice session they've got going on. Catch you all later.